Hi everybody, Sarai Willoughby's here, and of course we are at the Housing Tours office, and today for this video, we are going to go to an underwater treasure ship. Yep, we are going to go looking for hidden underwater treasure. She's done a lot of really interesting things with this house. And I think it's really cool. I do, I do, I do. So let's get here. This is going to be the Sunken Palace. And it's done by Kestrel Dark Song. So without further ado, let's get on over here. And this is definitely run by pirates. This is a pirate treasure trove of all kinds of special effects. She has got, look at this. All these fish that she has caught. There's Calypso over there. Y'all see Calypso? And I see a triton off in the distance. And oh my goodness. All these fish. Look at these. This. Look at these. See, I'm so excited. I can't even talk straight. She has got all these fish that she has collected. And pets too. That are just floating all over the place. Ooh, this was a lot of work. This is so cool, all these fish. Oh my gosh, and pets, and they're just all over the place. Oh, Kestrel, this is so cool. We'll come back to the portals here in a minute, because i got to check the rest of it out. This certainly does look like a treasure ship you would find under the sea, under the ocean. Good grief, Sarai, what is wrong with your mouth today? You just can't talk. This is so cool. Now, if any of these fish that you see that have been collected, what I do believe she has done is taken the aquariums of naturally the fish you catch have to go into aquariums and then she has floated these aquariums all over the place even look up there there's another one down there she has floated the aquariums with the fish in them and then made the aquariums invisible and that's what gives the appearance of having all these fish just floating free. Isn't this awesome? This is just Kestrel. This is so cool. Really cool. And there's some monstrology. Looks like she did some work with that. And we've got all these cute fish. Look at this. So much work went into not just decorating this house, but fishing and collecting the fish that she has all over the place. We come down in here and we've got more monstrology. I forgot what this guy's name is. We got some castle magic going on back here. Gotta be careful. Oh! How cute. She's got a little shed there, too. Not a shed. You know what I'm talking about. One of them doohickeys. So cool, Kestrel. And where's this taking us? Back up here. Oh, there's some lantern fish. That is so neat. The things that Castle Magic allows us to do. Now we're going to get back over here to this ship. Oh, she's got some castle magic there with the pirates. 
Now this ship is definitely a sunken treasure ship. Look at that. We've got Calypso. We've got pirates running around. We've got skeleton, bonefish. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Now those guys right there, the big ones, I do believe are monstrology. And this cute little one here swimming around, I do believe is a pet. We've got uh, some cannons going on here. Oh, she's even got a pirate floated up over on the deck over there. Y'all see that? You learn to float and just about anything is possible. This is well done, Kestrel. It certainly is. And look over there. We've got fish floating out over there, too. Amazing job. Amazing job with these floats. And the fish. My goodness, the time you spent collecting fish. So we're going to go here. This takes us up to the crow's nest. Now, to be able to really see, I'm going to pop up my camera. And look at the view from the crow's nest, y'all. We got a cracking down there in chains. Oh my gosh, we've got it all. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Isn't this incredible? Now this was definitely a difficult float. Getting up here. I've tried to get up in high places and you got to be hard-headed to get up here and do it. There's that triton over there setting off. Fabulous, fabulous job. So let's get out of the camera first of all. Dun. And we'll head on down. Now we've got another portal over here. Ooh. Let's hold up a minute. And get where y'all can see that good. Shouldn't take but a moment for it to pop up again. There we go. She's got a triton. No, what is that spell? Oh, how cool. That was awesome. That was cool. Now, we've got this other one here. Let's go check this portal out. If you notice, I've started losing my fear of portals. Oh, my goodness. She's created a dock down here. Look at this. And there's some more of the fish that she's floated. Let's take a look up here. Yep, look at all that. So you've got effects above and below and right there with you. This is awesome. Well done, Kestrel. This is really well done. Let's head on in here. This is just fish, fish everywhere. Ooh! She got a big old critter over there. Look at there. I didn't even see him when I came through the first time. Oh my goodness. It just, there's so much to look at everywhere. So many fish. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. We're rich. We found the treasure. Ooh, but we got some ugly looking dudes guarding it. Wow. So much gold. Oh, I just want to roll around in it. Oh, roll around in the gold. Roll around in the gold. Oh. If I could just take one of these gems, I'd be set for life. Looks like they're trying to pump some of the water out of here. Understandable. Oh, got the otters. They're having themselves a good old time. Got a nice, I don't know if you, would you call this a patio? A balcony? We could go with balcony, that works. And there's all them fish. Look at that. 
Wow, that that was a lot of work. It most definitely was. Oh, I got this creepy dude sneaking up behind me. Go away, dude. Personal space, you know. Let's head on back in. He gave me the creeps. Sneaking up on me like that. How dare he. Letting he know that I am a wizard. And I will slay him with my forest lord. Ah. So many treasures. Now what's with these creepy dudes? These are an excellent example of monstrology and what you can get with them. Every single one of these critters. Monstrology at its best. Oh my gosh, all these treasures. Every type of treasure chest you can imagine. Oh my gosh, antiquities too, look at that. That's interesting, I would like to know what that is. Let's find out, what is that? Bumbler Pollen Box. Oh, you can craft it, too cool, okay. I gotta remember that. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And this music... Oh, this music just fits. Absolutely perfect for a sunken pirate treasure ship. Oh, this is for those that get caught. Uh-oh. No, I am innocent. Sarai is innocent. Yes, yes, yes. And let's see, which way do we go? Which way do we go? We go that way. Now, look at those chests. She has just got a stockpile of fabulous items here. And that, oh, y'all get away from me. I know I'm pretty, but leave me alone. Okay, this chest right here, the golden azure chest, you can craft. And look at that. Isn't that an awesome addition to a pirate ship? I love that gold. Now, I don't care about the basket. They're all over the place. I was looking at that treasure chest. Definitely, definitely wonderful job. Oh, my gosh. Antiquities, gold, treasure chest. She has got it all, y'all. Who? <laughs> I'm a poet, didn't know it. Ta-da! Boy, they're messy eaters, aren't they? They need to... Let me get that out of the way, silly girl. They are definitely messy eaters. They need somebody to come clean up after them. Poor guy. Waiting for somebody to play chess or checkers with him. Move along, peg leg. We got castles to video. That is cute. Do you know what that is? And, and at first, when you glance at it, it looks like that boat is just floating there on its own. But what that is, is actually shipping a bottle. And you can get it from the Nomad's Camp Fishing. And you can also buy it from Torald Wayfinder in Northgard. Well, she made it big. Another amazing example of castle magic. That looks so cool. Oh, and there you go again. Leave that thing closed. Got us a big old crab taking over up here. Y'all need to do some pest control. And here we are at the top balcony. With more fabulous fish. And there's that Triton. Not Triton. Kraken. Kraken in chains. On display. For everyone to see what happens when you go against the captain of the pirate ship. Okay, enough of my dorkiness for today. 
fish everywhere. This is fabulous. So fabulous. Well done, Kestrel. I have to give you kudos for a wonderful, wonderful castle full of castle magic, monstrology, and don't forget gold. Yes, gold, 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 gold. Want me some gold? Well, Kestrel, thank you so much for inviting us here today. I greatly enjoyed it. Do you mind if I take a souvenir? Like, you know, I'll just take a little bit, a little bit of the gold or maybe a jewel. You'll never miss it with all you got. Just joking. I'm not going to take nothing. So I hope everybody enjoyed this as much as I did. And it gave you some ideas of your own about where to float things, um, how you can use menstrology, and some more examples of how you can use castle magic. Until next time, y'all have a wonderful evening. See ya!